So this is Baruch Fleischman here with the Tikkun Elevator Call L, and it's time for the Psalms, the Songs of our King, King David. This particular Psalm that we're going to learn is number 83, Pei Gimel in Hebrew. And the it's said every day after every, uh, after in the morning prayers and the afternoon prayers, it's said every day in my synagogue. And the rabbi says one of the verses, and the congregation repeats after him. So we do it. But this is the main thing that they do. They also do another one, which maybe because we have to see tomorrow. This is the main idea. Now, in sequence, the the uh, the authors here of the publishers or editors, how it is, brought bring these ideas after Jehoshaphat completed his renovation of the judicial system. This was apparently in the previous psalm. The land of Judea was attacked by armies of Ammon, Moab, Aram, and Seir, which is Edom. The Malbin proved from this psalm that these nations were bent on annihilating Israel. If that sounds familiar. They hired mercenaries from every prominent nation in the area so that Israel would be completely overwhelmed by their vast legions. So, Look at the situation in which Israel finds itself now. Surrounded. The Arabs are multiple. There's lots and lots of Arabs. And now we see how they work. They are really all over the world. And basically they're jihading every place. This is what they do. In other words, they're spreading their culture, which we have a little idea what their culture is like. We've lived with them for thousands of years. So... The psalmist here reveals the deeper intentions of these marauding nations. What is it that Hamas really ultimately wants? Their ultimate, uh, their ultimate desire was not merely to destroy Israel, because you know, from the from the river to the sea, Palestine be free, but to obliterate the name of God from the face of the earth. That is the God of the Jews. Now they claim that they they also have the special word of God, but apparently there's their uh was that it's stymied by the fact that the Jews haven't accepted it and we're still out there. Therefore, Yehoshaphat employed the power of song as his chief weapon against his foes. Through song, he declared that God does indeed reign supreme over the universe. Now let's hear this, hear this song. Remember that in the synagogue, and it is really, I think, let's see where it starts from right here. No, it starts right here. Uh, it's better to say it with a congregation, as many people as possible. One person leads by saying the first the first verse, and then the next the congregation or the rest of the people answer. So repeat it again. This says the verses go like this: a song with musical accompaniments by Asaph. O oh God, do not hold yourself silent. Be not deaf, and be not still, O oh God, for behold. Your foes are in an uproar. Look at them. And those who hate you have raised their head. Against your nation they plot deviously. They take counsel against those whom you protect. They said, come, let us cut them off from nationhood. So Israel's name will be remembered no more. Get rid of the Jews. For they take counsel together unanimously against you they strike a covenant the tents of edom and ishmaelites of meshmaelites of moab and hagarites gavul and amud and amalek philistia and the heavens of sur and there's all surrounding nations even assyria which came from iraq had to come from our northern northern syria joined with them they became the strong arm of lot's son lot's lot in hebrew is the nephew of Avraham Avinu, went through all the thing and created the word world, the nations of Moab and Ammon. He said, do, uh, uh, do, do to them as to Midian, as to Sisera and to Yavin and Nachal Kisha, who perished at Ain Dor, they became dung on the earth. Make their lo their nobles like Oriv and Ezev and all their princes like Zevach and Salmuna, who said, we will conquer for ourselves the pleasant habitations of God. They put a mosque on top of the holy temple. Well, why not? 
O oh my God, make them like the whirling chaff, like stubble before the wind, like a fire burning the forest and a flame igniting mountains. So pursue them with your tempest and terrify them with your storm. Fill their faces with shame that they will seek your name, Hashem. This is Baruch Fleischman. This is the Tikkun Elevation, Kabedra Kolel. And we use this, this till in the main weapon of the Jew is our mouths. We have unbelievable ability to communicate with God. And we wish him and we seek him to answer our prayers.